Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan George Bear. So I'm gonna make this video for Ninja Mommy. Um a response video. Um What video is it? She uploaded it not that long ago. illness or something like that. I think it was uploaded two months ago. Yes, I have this mental illness and she talks about her ADHD story. See, I um, got diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, um, Ninja Mommy, when I was like seven. And they put me um, on Ritalin, and I had a reaction to the Ritalin medication for my Tourette syndrome. Um, when I was like nine or ten, they diagnosed me with ADHD, um, and I went to an alternative school um, because I had generalized anxiety disorder. Um, but the main conditions that disable me um, is my um, paranoid schizophrenia um, that I got diagnosed with. Um, when I was like 20 or 21 um and Ninja Mommy um I've never sat down and read the Quran um but I have um this book of for beginners book that I bought from Spencer's um and on my personal Facebook account um I encounter like um nine people or ten people um where I think of them and then they manifest into my life or they have certain names or they look like other people or things like that um like my friend John Powell um that I used to hang out with and watch movies with and he makes me think of this guy that raped a girl on stick camp named John Hawk um my best friend named James um has a baby mother named Jasmine with a sister named Brandy um and Jasmine and Brandy um was from a prank call that I watched when I was like 18 and my dad George's girlfriend is named Margie Rubichaud and her sister is named um Jeanette Edwards um and when I was like 18 um, I watched a porno movie on the internet um, where these two old ladies who did porn would call themselves Gigi and Jeanette in it. And people can meet and interact with these people, coincidence people, even though I have ADHD, Tourette syndrome, um, bipolar disorder, um, paranoid schizophrenia, <coughs> um, OCD, and things like that. Um, so I'm wicked into my religious belief. See, I was a Christian. Um, first I was an atheist, and then I was a Christian. But Christianity is a faith-based religion. In faith in Jesus Christ. And my grandmother Betty wanted to get me baptized, but I refused to. <clears throat> um, but I used to sit down and read the Bible. Um, but I've never sat down and read the Quran, though I probably will go online, um, maybe in like a week or two and sit down and read the Quran. Um, but witchcraft is the religion that I choose to follow. Um, 
coven, I was in a witchcraft coven, because I'm 30, and when I was, like, um, <clears throat> 25 or 26, I was in a witchcraft coven called Bloodstar Coven. <coughs> Bloodstar Coven ran by a guy named Jeff McGainey. <coughs> um, who calls himself Storms Mick on Facebook. Um, and Jeff McGainey. Um, was my best friend that I used to do witchcraft with. Um, and Jeff McGainey is a people coincidence person. Um, even though I'm a paranoid schizophrenic, I have ADHD, Tourette syndrome with epilepsy and things like that. Um, I asked my dad yesterday if they think that they can give me a handicap thing for my car, um, in case I'm out in public and I have a psychosis and I want to park close to the store. Because really, they approve my disability. Um, in like three weeks of applying um, because I told people in the disability office um, that a god and a goddess are that real um, there are times when I know when the air conditioner in the house will come on um, and I know when people will type words before they say them or I know when people will laugh before they laugh and that's a clairvoyant power that I have when I studied witchcraft. Um, and I know a Hecate goddess of darkest night prayer um, that I did when I did witchcraft. And I memorized candle colors and things like that. Um, I had I got paranoid schizophrenia when I was like um, 20 or 21. Um, but I've been hearing voices in my head um, when I was like 22. Um, and really, the people coincidence, people aren't a delusion. Um, so I saw it as witchcraft. Um, but I've never sat down and read the Quran, though I plan to sometime. Um, but I used to read the Bible. Um, it's just I have my Wicca for Beginners book that I'm going to read. And like I said, my grandmother wanted to get me baptized, but I refused to. So they did diagnose me with ADHD, and my fourth girlfriend, Nadia, I think she was sent to my alternative school um, because she had ADHD. And that's why she went to the Hannah Moore School, which was part of Shepherd Pratt. See, I went to the Forbush School um, because I had generalized anxiety disorder and I was a behavior issue. Um, and they kicked me out of my first alternative school and sent me to another one because I was a behavior issue. Um, and then when I went to the Aero Center for Education, I was even more of a behavior issue. Um, I would cuss teachers out and kick tests over. And really, I couldn't make a girlfriend no matter what I would do. I tried meet me, I tried dating sites, I tried things like that, and really I just hated everything, went out and bought a camera, and was like, well, I had connects into celebs, because I used to have conversations with a guy that knew Jeffree Star, the singer and makeup guy. <sighs> <coughs> making coffee. Um, my friend James is in the other room. Um, he was my first threesome when I was like 21. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 21. <clears throat> um, 
And then nine months ago, I had a girlfriend with black hair. Um, and me and my friend Austin from my alternative school did threesomes. Um, on my girlfriend with black hair. Um, but I plan to read the Quran, um, sometime. Even though I'm Wiccan. Even though I'm Wiccan, I listen to Christian music. Um, I like to listen to Hava Nagila and things like that, even though I believe in a god and a goddess. And like I said, there are times where I scroll through my Facebook feed. There are times when I know when people will um, type things before they type things. And there are times when I know when the air conditioner will come on in the house before it comes on. And things like that. Um, so I believe in Wicca and witchcraft because I study witchcraft heavily. Um, but I forgot a lot of things because I shied away from it for a while. Um, but I have a Wicca for Beginners book. Um, and like I said, I was an atheist and I was a Christian. Um, I've never tried Islam. Um, <clears throat> but I talk to people of all religions. And I feel as long as your religion doesn't believe in animal torture um, or things like that, um, or hurting people or killing people or beating people up, or things like that. I support you to believe in whatever you want. Um, and they did diagnose me with ADHD when I was like 13 um, or 14, but the main condition that disables me um, is my schizophrenia um, my Asperger's, um, and my Tourette syndrome with epilepsy that I got diagnosed with, um, but see, I've only had one seizure, um, from my Tourette syndrome, and I've been in three psychoses, um, as a paranoid schizophrenic person. During one psychosis, I believe that I was raped, um, even though there was only a man named Chris that wanted to rape me when I was little, um, and then a boy named Matt Beckner at my alternative school attempted to rape me, um, when I was really drunk and I couldn't fight him off, when I was, like, um, 27 and I'm 30, but he's dead now, he got hit by a train, but during one psychosis, I believe that I actually was raped, um, by somebody, And see, when my mom and dad got divorced, my mom, Pam, was like, well, I think that your dad, George, is a rapist. Um, I believe it is possible to talk to deities um, because I study witchcraft very heavily and things like that. Um, and I encounter like nine people that scare me and about 13 or 14 of them that don't like me anymore. Um, and I did things, like act out and draw things, to make my dad do things for me. Like buy me a rabbit or things like that. Um, and I opened up a channel and had a psychosis um, about two years ago. When I was sad when my black friend died from the coronavirus. Um, and my friend Austin, who was my, because my first threesome happened when I was 21. Um, my second was when I was, like, 22 with my friend Alex. Um, I did some with this boy named Ryan who was schizophrenic. Um, and then my fourth threesome happened nine months ago with my friend Austin Malkwain from my alternative school who was a boy with black hair. Um, and then, um, this boy named Noah from my alternative school had sex with my girlfriend with black hair. And I watched... Um, I've never done things with boys before, um, but when I would be, um, in psychosis, I would write down things like I did things with boys, and my schizophrenia would make me write that down, even though I'm heterosexual, and things like that, um, I 
used to play Grand Theft Auto on my Xbox that was stolen from me. Um, but the main game that I like to play is Sims 4 and I play with mods. Um... And I have a black bunny rabbit. And my rabbit, I asked for my dad. Um... I specifically asked for a black rabbit. And I'm trying to get frogs, um... For my birthday, which was May 24th. It was recently passed, because I'm 30 now. Um... I really hate that my first girlfriend cheated on me, and I only fingered her. And then I fingered my fifth girlfriend, um, and then my second girlfriend, Brooke, um, gave me a blowjob when I was, like, 14. But I don't talk to my first girlfriend, Alicia, but I have her as a friend on my Facebook. Um, because she was my first girlfriend that I fingered when I was like 13 or 14. Um, but I didn't have sex with Alicia because her parents were always there. And then I did things with my second girlfriend, Brooke. She gave me a blowjob. Um, and then I fingered my fifth girlfriend, Sabrina. Um, I was with a third girl who was black named Tanya, hoping it would make Alicia come back with me. Um, and then I dated a Christian girl named Nadia. Um that is getting married to her husband during the coronavirus um and then like i said nine months ago i had a girlfriend with black hair um i believe it is possible to talk to deities um because i was an atheist and then i was a christian but i believe in um the goddess that i pray to is hecate um and i make about eight hundred dollars a month in disability money um and i live under my dad george's roof um in maryland and that's better than being homeless and not having an income at all and panhandling on the street. So I'm happy for that. Um, they approved my disability in like three weeks um, because I had ADHD. Um, I have Tourette syndrome with epilepsy and I've had one seizure from my Tourette syndrome. Um, I've been in three psychoses as a paranoid schizophrenic. Um, I have bipolar disorder, um, and schizophrenia and autism, and really, Daniel Rigoli, the Catch Me Outside girl, she has yet to prove that she has a schizophrenia diagnosis, I think. I, I mean, I used to watch her when videos of her, but I read that it was only rumored that she was schizophrenic. I think she's only bipolar. And see, my mom is bipolar with psychotic features, and she tried to kill my brother and things like that. So it's only a rumor that the Cash Me Outside girl is schizophrenic. And really, they diagnosed me as a paranoid schizophrenic when I was like 20 or 21. Um, and I encountered nine people on Facebook that are real, and about 16 of them that don't like me anymore. Um, and I got approved for disability like three or four years ago um, and I talked to my friends on my Ryan Fair Facebook um, and there's about um, and like I said about three years ago I had a one night stand with a girl named Gabby um, and I did things with my friend James's baby mother um during the time, like, three or four years ago, whose name was Jasmine, we did things, but I don't talk to Jasmine anymore, um, but my friend James is in the other room, um, and I had a girlfriend with black hair nine months ago, like I said, um, I've tried all kinds of things, but really, the only way that I've ever really had sex, um, is when I talk to friends on Facebook, and they say, hey, look at this girl. You want to hang out with her and do things? And I'll be like, sure. And that's really the only time that I have sex. Because I really don't know how to talk to girls um, sometimes. Um, but I'm attractive. And I'm like seven and a half, eight down there. And when I have sex, I can last a half hour or so. Um, 
my experiences with ADHD is that I would be hyper. Um, so they did diagnose me with ADHD um, when I was like 13 or 14. But see, I got diagnosed with Tread syndrome when I was like seven. wish I had a new girlfriend and like I said when I got qualified for schizophrenia um I didn't really see much of my disability money even though they approved my disability in three weeks and I've talked to people who are former military or people who have brain injuries they can't get disability like I can um and my cousin um won't be able to walk for a year um because of her issues And I have a black rabbit in my room named Midnight. Um, and I'm going to try and get frogs. Um, and I really wish um, that I had a cat, but my dad won't let me have a cat. Um, the last time I talked to my black friend named Carl, um, James Himes, who calls himself James Krona, was about 10 months ago. Um, and I sent my first best friend picture um, with a girlfriend named Sierra, I sent his girlfriend a friend request and she denied it. And then years ago, I sent Victor a friend request and he denied it. So I don't think I'm ever going to hear from, um, Victor anymore. But see, my new best friend is a boy named James. Um, and I talk to my friends on my Ryan Fair Facebook and things like that. But one friend that I'm sure doesn't really isn't my true friend that I have on there is my friend John Powell um but we used to watch movies together and things like that and um really when I turned 17 or 18 my dad did not buy me a car but my cousins could drive when they were like 17 or 18 and I didn't drive until I was like 21 or 22 um and my religious belief is that I'm Wiccan. Um, but even though I'm Wiccan and I believe in a god and a dark goddess, um, I don't play with knives and I'm scared of them. Um, but I used to have Hecate and Zeus statues in my room. I don't know if I uploaded my witchcraft altar video on this channel. Um, but I used to have Hecate and Zeus statues in my room. Um, and my Wicca for Beginners book that I'm going to start reading is Wicca for Beginners, A Guide to Wiccan Beliefs, Rituals, Magic, and Witchcraft by Lisa Chamberlain. Um, and things like that. Um, and the witchcraft coven that I was in was called Bloodstar Coven. Um, ran by my friend named Jeff McGainey. Um, and he taught me the Hecate Goddess of Darkest Night Prayer. Um, that I used to say. Um, and I would feel sensations in my body when I would say it. Um, so I believe in, um, a god and a dark goddess. Um, the god I pray to is Zeus and the goddess I pray to is Hecate. Um, and I find that that prayer, um, made my voices go away. Because my voices, um, were evil and things like that. Let me see what my rabbit has been saying.
And my first kiss happened when I was like eight or nine with a girl named Emma. They lived by my Aunt Sherry. Um, and then when I was like nine or ten, um, I liked a mixed girl named Kelly that knew how to play the violin. Who was mixed that I imprinted with my friend Ray. And in 2020, my black friend named Ryan Cherry died from the coronavirus pandemic. some coffee. This is going on 28 minutes. And 30 seconds. And it is June 10th, 2022. And the time is 10.57 a.m. in the morning. So I'm going to upload this on my Ryan George Fair channel. Um, for Ninja Mommy. A response video, um, to her video that she uploaded, I think, two months ago. I think it was two months ago. I have this mental illness. So I'm going to call this a response to I have this mental illness, um, from Ninja Mommy. Um, from Ryan George Fair, and this is going on 29 minutes and 30 seconds. So, um, two months ago, Ninja Mommy uploaded I Have This Mental Illness. So, I'm gonna make this video for her. And it is June 10th, 2022. And the time is 10.58 a.m. So hope everybody's good. So much love and peace. I'm from Ryan George Fair. This is going one and a half hour. So I'm going to make this video for Ninja Mommy.